My baby is petrified. That's after hearing one of her soon to be puppies was stolen from her father's home. Every time I see her, she's like, hey, daddy, did the bandits get arrested? His daughter referring to this man seen on video with a mask on walking around the front of Broughton's home. Broughton says he came home April 14th to find his window busted out and his home security system told all. By 1.30, a white Dodge Ram was um, scoping my house out to see if anybody was home. They dropped um, Philip Campo off on the dirt road. He um, came up, approached the fence line of the house and he tried to go through the front door. He seen the front door was locked. That's when the bandit took out the window in Broughton's room. He climbed in. You can see on video when he enters the living room to take the pups. Put one of them in a pillowcase and they was fighting, trying to get away. And then he took the other one, shoved her in the pillowcase. And as he tried to get out the door, the Frenchie, one of my Frenchies got out of the pillowcase and he grabbed it and shoved them back in the pillowcase. Philip Campo was arrested and charged for stealing the dogs, but Broughton says two accomplices who were seen in this white truck dropping Campo off and picking him up are still at large. Hershaw County didn't do nothing about my dogs, and I didn't even want to call them. Well, the, the person, the only person who broke into his house was arrested. I mean, if we can identify who drove him to the scene or, or drove him from the scene or had anything to do with the burglary, even if they didn't step foot on the property, then we are willing to pursue charges. But at this time, the information we have is kind of iffy and not good enough.